Hello guys, my name is the Grey Alley 125 and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Last time when we left off, we battled Leader Maxi and we won. That's good, we won. And now we are ready to battle Flannery, but we have to make it through because, because, well, you have to go through these holes and it's really hot in this room, in this game, not in here. But it, yeah, we have to go through this and it's really hot in this place because as we all know that she is a fire type gym leader. And I'm just gonna, oh wow. I'm gonna go with my Gohan first. I, th I think he's good. And then I might go with my Dr. Jiro, which will be fine. And I've already battled a couple of trainers, so I'm just gonna like try to find my way. I think I know where to go. I I'm just going wherever. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. We have made it to Flannery. Yes. And just, and she's like a new gym leader not like in emerald but like in the anime she just became a gym leader and in this game as well but just so you guys know okay let's jump into it welcome wait no wait puny trainer how good you see you made it here i've made i have been entrusted with the no wait i am flannery and i'm the leader here the gym leader here um dare you not underestimate me though i have been leader only a short time with skills inherited from my grandfather i shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land. Alright, we are gonna get ready into this battle. Nice. Okay, so she's a punk leader, I guess. The way she has her clothes on, I guess. So her clothes style. I guess. So she's gonna send out a Nemo first. Okay. And I'm just gonna use wing attack. I don't know. Just see how it goes. Not bad. Ooh, sunny day. <laughs> no. What does that even do? Like, doesn't that make her, like, move stronger? Her fire type move stronger a little bit or something like that? I don't even know. Okay, so her Pokemon's already knocked out. She has, like, four or five Pokemon in her team. I don't even know. Slugma. Okay, I don't have any water type Pokemon, but that's okay. That it, it's, it's, it's fine right now because we know that the leader... Not the leader. The champion of this game is Wallace, and he's a water type, so we don't need another water type. We just need, like, a grass type, you know? I guess her all of her Pokemon are level 24. Oh wow, I'm so lucky that um, Overheat just missed. That would have been a pretty big move. Wow, this is going easier than I actually expected it to be. She's gonna send out a Torkoal, I think, or a Mac Cargo. I don't even know. Okay, our Dr. Geo leveled up to level 28. Nice. Camera. Okay, she didn't have a camera up in the um, Sapphire Ruby, so this is something cool and different. Ooh, the sunlight is still strong. Okay, Gohan, you got this. Gohan's the girl with the boy name, but that's okay. It's still cool. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage. And there's the overheat. Please don't faint. Oh my goodness. I, it was a critical hit. Come on. And it does lower the user's um, special attack. Okay. I'm not gonna go with Goku, even though how badly I do. I'm not Vegeta. He has Spark, and it's not that good. And his quick attack isn't good, so I'm gonna go with my Dr. Jiro. And he has an XP share, so that, that's the item he's holding. Okay, the sunlight faded. I, I don't know what sunlight does, I forgot. I don't know a lot about my moves. But that's that's okay. I'm gonna go with Nightshade. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> More. Okay. What? Why? Stop using Sunny Day. Okay. This is nice. Alright. Okay, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. Oh, no, 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 she still has very little health. No, she's gonna go with the attract. She's gonna go with the attract. She's gonna go with the attract. Ah! Uh, no, please. Dr. Jiro better not be so immobilized in love with the camera. Come on. This... Man, Flannery, she's she's new, but, like, she's pretty smart. Okay, she has the Hyper Potion. I actually... That actually took her a while to use, actually, a potion on her Pokemon. Please, come on, attack Dr. Jiro. Dr. Jiro come on. All right. <laughs> okay. I should have not used, um, Scratch. I should have used Nightshade. Please, come on, move, move, please, come on. All right, yes. Okay, keep on, keep up with the attacks, Dr. Jiro. Overheat, oh no, please don't faint, please don't faint. Come on, please don't faint. Ah. Okay, 
Okay, that was really close. I might as well just use a super potion just in case. I'm not gonna risk anything. I want my Dr. Jiro, Dr. Jiro to um, get some experience points. And wow, I should have bought more healing stuff. More healing potions. Or, yeah, potions. Not healing potions, that's weird. Please don't faint, it's gonna faint. Oh wait, no it's not. Yes. Because it keeps on lowering its special attack. So that's something good. Please let this be a critical hit. Aw, oh, dang it, no! Dr. G, why? Come on! Oh man. Okay, good thing he only used sunlight. It's gonna keep on going with that sunlight, so... Okay, come on, come on. Please attack, please attack, please attack! All right, there we go. Yes, it better faint. Critical hit, please. A critical hit. Please, please. <laughs> this is wow. This is actually taking a while, but it's actually pretty entertaining. Wow, a hyper potion. Come. How many does she have? Two, three. What does she? Have? How many does she have? And what is her last Pokemon? Is it like a Mac Cargo? And oh my goodness, Doctor Jiro, please attack. Please, I am begging you. Come on, we we only have like ten more Pokemon powers for that for that nightshade that we have. Oh no, it's gonna it, it better not faint. Please don't faint. Please don't let it be a crit. Okay. And I have no healing resorts. I don't have like like those berries that heal like ten health. But I do have a potion, so that's I do have a okay. I do have a revive, but I don't not I'm not gonna use it. So so I'm just gonna go with the potion. That should do, like, that's gonna do very little. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna go for that, okay, it used Sunny Day, but if it, why did he, why did she use Sunny Day? Okay, probably she knew that it was gonna fade because it did already. And the move was too quick for, for her. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna go for one more super potion and a potion not super potion for a potion and I'm, I'm gonna attack with nightshade because scratch is not strong enough so I'm not gonna use my HM slave Lanoon either because that's an HM slave I'll I'll grind up my HM slaves like later on because they're they're just backup like they're just slaves well I'm not like HM slave you know please attack come on <gasps> Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, do I use... No, it's, do I use Foresight or something? So, like... I know, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the Nightshade again. Come on, please attack. Goodness, what do I do? I, I want to switch out, but... I don't... I don't... You know, I'm just, No, I can't switch out because my, um... My... Vegeta doesn't... My Vegeta doesn't know any good moves. Like, everything's, like, bad. Nothing's good about it right now. For now, but then this is uh, Lanoon doesn't have any ground type moves, so I'm not gonna go with anything else. Goku's like really like strong right now, and I'm just gonna like let him stay at that level for now. So yeah, that's practically what I'm gonna do. Okay, finally attacks. I just zoned out for a little bit. Wait, what move did it use? Just now, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. Come on, attack! I wasn't even paying attention, so I don't know what didn't affect Dr. Jiro. Was it like stomp or something? Yes, keep on attacking, please. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Keep on keep on going at it. Please, please, please. Oh my goodness. Please attack. Yes, it's gonna faint and probably hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. Yes, it did. Yes. Alright, that's a good amount of experience points. And a Torkoal. I totally forgot about our Torkoal. Totally forgot about that Pokemon. The Pokemon's pretty strong. Yeah, it's, it's actually a really cool Pokemon too. I've never used a Torkoal in my I never had one in my party and never used one. So I don't know how like amazing it is. But it's gonna go for that overheat and please do not faint, Dr. Geo. Please. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Why? Well at least. At least Dr. Geo did good. Good job, Dr. Geo. You did an amazing job. I'm super proud of you. Super proud of you. White herb? What is that? I thought Pokemon did like herb, like, like those st types of stuff. I want to use a Pokemon. I don't know. I'm not going to go for that one. I'm just going to go send out Goku. Lanoon is just an ancient slave, as I already said before. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my, my really strong um, Blaziken right here, my Goku. 
and use um, Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick? Like, Blaze Kick is pretty strong. Yeah, it's actually pretty strong even though it's pretty ineffective, but it's a pretty good move. Okay, that was decent damage against me, but there, the Torkoal has fainted. We have beaten Leader Flannery. Yes, we're keeping our winning streak. We haven't lost against anybody, honestly, I don't think. No? I don't, I don't even remember. I have bad memory. I, I've only recently become a trainer. Became a trainer. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. Wow, 2,900 Poke Dollars. That's, thank you for the money. Not trying to be greedy, but that's a lot. Yes, we have... We have obtained the Heat Badge! Beautiful! All Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trades from other people, will obey your, you completely. And it helps lets Pokemon use the H to move strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about it. Take. Don't be shy about, take, about taking it. TM50, which the TM50 is overheat, I think? Yeah, it's overheat. That move inflicts serious damage on that on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. It, it's not. Ooh, we got her, um, her, her, uh, what is it, Pokenap thingy? Let's see what this guy's gonna tell us. Whoa, yo, 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 what? I'm just gonna say, well, wow, that was a, a scorching hot battle. Yes, it was. It's very hot in here because you can see all that mist. Brendan, please do not ask us for a battle. <laughs> Ellie, hey, it's been a while. How's it going? Hmm, that's a decent collection of badge. Badges. All right, then. You may as well have this. Oh, the Go Goggles. Yes, I, I kind of... I didn't forget about that. I thought it was going to ask us for a battle since this is Emerald. Keep those if you're going... Plan if you're planning on going to that desert near Route 111. There should be some Pokemon that are exclusively desert dwellers. You might look around for those. You might look around for those. As for me, I'm considering challenging Norman, the gym leader of Pedalburg. You don't have to say the gym leader of Pedalburg. You, you could have just said your dad. Because I know my dad in this game is a gym leader, Brendan. Unlike you, Ellie, your dad looks like he is really, he's really tough. Okay, there, you finally say dad. See you around. Okay, bye. Nice bike. Ew, you took the slow one? You, you grabbed the slow one? Lame. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speed this up. Because I forgot how slow you walk in this game. I think our Lanoon, my Lanoon, our Lanoon, can uh, learn HM strength. I don't know. Wow, we have a lot of TMs. <laughs> Whoa. For strength. Okay, there it is. Use, boot it up. Yes. Okay, Lanoon is able. Wow, a lot of, most of my Pokemon are able to do it. Okay, Lanoon. Um, Tail Whip. Yes. Oh, actually, maybe I should have deleted the head, but I don't even know. I should have probably. Dang, I'm so dumb. Also, this lady gives you an egg, I think. No, wait, no, that's the other one. No, wait, no, no, not that old dude. He gets bit by some Pokemon. I don't even know. Here, I have here an egg. I, I'd hope to hatch it by covering it in hot sand but the, by the hot springs, but that doesn't seem to be enough. I've heard it would be best if you were kept together with Pokemon and carried about. You are a trainer, yes? And your Pokemon radiated the talent. I don't even know what she said. Okay, I don't have enough Pokemon, but, um, if you guys want to know what's in the egg, hatch it. It's, it's not even a cool Pokemon. It's, it's, I don't know, it's good for your Pokedex entry. Okay, so, I totally forgot about that trainer. I literally forgot. And I thought I battled them. I, you can battle these dudes, but anyway, whatever. Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. Um. In the egg that that old lady gives you, she, okay, a Geodude, okay, shiny, no, it's not. But the egg that's, that she gives you, you hatch it, and I thought it was going to be something cool, but it's just like in the Johto region, you get an egg, and it turns out to be a Togepi, with Togepi is actually a pretty good Pokemon, but in this egg that you get from that old lady, you know what's in the egg? It's why not, that Pokemon, that annoying little blue Pokemon that evolves into Wobbuffet, so kind of sad but oh dang well we are gonna go all the way back to Petalburg city yeah Petalburg city so i'll see you guys oh actually you know what? let's just ride our bike my bike 
I'm really bad at writing this thing, especially in fast forward mode. Like it's really, really like fast. I forgot about the trainers. I have bad memory. I am super duper sorry guys, but we'll get back into this cycling. So I totally forgot about that trainer. I am super duper sorry. Okay. Too fast. This is this is moving too fast for me. Okay, I don't care. One minute plus. I don't care. I just like I am ten years old. I like riding my bike, sir. Or however how how old whatever old what whatever age you are. Let's let's get out of here. Oh wait, hold up. Is anything happening over here? No. Okay. Anything new? Okay, Mr. Briny, take us back home. But anyway, guys, I'll see you back over there in Pedalburg City. Or Pedalburg. I don't even know. I forgot the town, but I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys, so we're back here in, um, what, what is this town again? I, I have bad memory. Dang. Pedalburg City. Okay, I, I thought it was something d different. But this is our father's gym. Pedalburg City Pokemon Gym Leader Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Yes. Let's see how this gym looks like. Okay, it's the same. Where has that? Well, those rooms? And yeah, those rooms, whatever. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. And comment down below and tell and tell me on your good, whatever your opinions. Um, give me some tips on anything. I honestly don't care. But um, any tips for new Pokemon? I don't know. Just anything that would be nice, you know. And, um, I'm actually hoping that this, throughout this whole game, we win every time we battle, you know, like, our rival battles and our, um, trainer battles, of course, I mean, like, there will be at points where kids, well, trainers, like us, when we play, lose against the, um, trainer battles, which is, really sucks. But anyway, um, hopefully we keep our Brendan streak, our rival battle streak, and our gym leader streak, so we can go towards the Elite Four streak, and then... Battling the champion, which is different. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. That Flannery battle was actually really cool. Our Dr. Geo did really good. Um, I'm going to be grinding up more, more of my Pokemon, like my Vegeta and um, Breloom. Vegeta needs better moves, we obviously know. But I think I'm going to teach Vegeta the TM that Watson gave us, which is Shockwave. I don't know. I feel like that would be a good move for it to learn for Vegeta to learn because as you know the champion Wallace is water type Pokemon so yeah but that's all that was all for today guys thank you for watching and I'll smell you later guys in the next episode <laughs>